This video will explain how to add lip sync to your VRChat avatar through use of shape keys. I will be using Blender 2.78 for this tutorial. This video requires a basic understanding of Blender, however I will have screencast keys in the bottom left so you can follow along. Shape keys modify mesh directly. They can be mixed with each other to form animations. This is how VRChat can create lip sync with the microphone. Since we are only working with the head, I can go ahead and hide everything besides that. Other models may not have mesh separated like this, and that's fine. You can access your shape keys by going into the Vertex Group panel. If the panel isn't there, make sure to select your object. This panel is used to store all vertex information about your model, including bone data. Add your first shape key. This is known as the basis key. This is where all keys will compare themselves to. In VR chat terms, this is known as how your model will look when it's not making any noise and should have the appearance of a closed mouth. Since this model has the appearance of an open mouth, I will go ahead and close it. With my basis key selected, I can modify the mesh. Selecting exact mesh can be a pain. I'm going to use a UV selection method that allows me to select mesh based off the texture map. I can do that by selecting this button here with the texture loaded onto the model. I want to move the lower jaw up, so I need to find the corresponding mesh. I won't need these top bits, so I can deselect them. I can move and rotate the mesh into the desired location. It's also good practice to save selected mesh into vertex groups. These are selections of mesh that you can bring up while working. I can create a vertex group with my selection by pressing this button, pressing a sign, and naming it appropriately. Now I can select this group on the fly. VRChat has 15 different facial poses that blend together to form a working mouth. We need to create all 15 shape keys in Blender. Exit edit mode and create another shape key and name it according to the one you will be working on. I will be following along with the official document by VRChat on shape keys, linked in the description. Once created and named, we can modify it. Set the value of the key to 1.0. This makes the key into its on state, with zero being off and decimals in between. AA is a completely open mouth state, so I will drag the lower lip down in edit mode. Exit edit mode and play with the slider to see the shape of the key in action. Note, make sure the pin icon isn't selected for any key. Next key. I don't have any teeth on this model, so I will mimic the mouth position. Instead of creating another key and opening the jaw like last time, I can just duplicate the key above. I can do this by setting V.AA to 1.0. Then I will select this drop down and press New Shape Key from Mix. Name it and confirm it has been duplicated. Make sure to set the old key back to zero. I will be using Sculpting for this state. With my new key set to 1.0, I can enter Sculpting mode. Sculpting is a brush based tool that can modify mesh. You can edit the brush size with F and edit symmetry locks on the side panel. I like to use x-axis symmetry when dealing with faces. I use the grab tool for pulling mesh. You can always confirm edits by playing with the shape key sliders, but never edit unless it's at 1.0. Next key. Again, I will use v.ch as a basis and sculpt it into shape. I'll also go an extra mile and raise the tongue.
you'll find that most keys here look very similar to the ones you've made already. You can simply recycle shape keys to save time. Continue doing all other keys. This is the silence shape key. This is played when no noise is made into the microphone. We just want to duplicate our basis key so we can just add a new key. However, in order for your key to be initialized in Unity, it needs to have some form of movement. You can move a vertex point in your model that nobody would notice. Again, make sure you have 1.0 marked on this key before editing it. Continue doing all other shape keys. When you have finished all 15 shape keys, you are ready to export. Export your model as an FBX and import it as a humanoid character in Unity. When you add a VRC descriptor, under Lip Sync, select Visame, Blend Shape. Under Face Mesh, select your corresponding mesh in the top left. Fill in all shape keys into the fields. Make sure to set up the rest of your descriptor and upload your model to VRChat and you now have a working mouth.